Hey guys, you're on mass with Daniel Dallas. This is the peak of the week. I opened a new series, what is called peak of the week. It means on a weekly basis, I'm going to pick up a random problem from mass. It might be different levels from GCC, IGCC, probably higher level and extended version of IGCC up to IB and ALO so that you can practice and have a look at different level of complexity of the problems. And here is the first problem that you can try to solve. All right, let's go. Find the perimeter in the area of the shape below. That's the shape. I'm just going along the contour of that shape. Point C is the midpoint right there of the segment AB and points F and G. So F and G are the centers of two identical semi-circles. Okay, so AC 7.5 is right there, and CB or BC is 7.5 as well. So you need to find perimeter and the area of this shape. All right, so grab pen, grab the paper, and try to sew by your own, and then compare it with my explanation. All right, so let's have a look how we can easily sew that. So first of all, let's go and start with perimeter calculation. So I'm going to write P as a perimeter. So I'll mark as P. And let's remember what it is by definition. If you start at point A and you just go around the shape up to the point B, first in a clockwise direction, then you're going along the boundary right there, along the first semicircle to the point C, then from the point C along the curve and back to the point A. That's going to be the total distance travel or basically the length of the boundary of the shape. And that's going to be a perimeter. So that's why basically perimeter consists of perimeter, a big semicircle, okay, from point A to point B in a clockwise direction, and also of two identical perimeters of small semicircles. All right, so I'll put this like that, okay? So we, where P stays for the perimeter of the big semicircle, which is simply two, my bad, pi R, you can immediately have it. And what about perimeter of each semi, small semicircle? is basically pi but to the small radius multiply. So until you have an expression for total length of the boundary, pi uh, capital R and along with two pi R because you need to add those two perimeters of small semicircles. Basically, this is the perimeter of the small complete circle, all right? Or basically circumference. So the final goal is to find the big radius and the small one. So the big radius is simply AC, it's 7.5, so you can plug numbers. So the big radius is 7.5 centimeters, while the small one, let's have a look, the small one is half of that. So you take in 7.5 and divide by two, that's your small radius. So finally you'll get pi, you can factorize, you'll get 7.5 stays for R and 2 times 7.5 and over 2, basically both 2 will be cancelled and again you add 7.5 centimeters. All right, in terms of pi, your perimeter is going to be 15 pi centimeters or if you plug the numbers, so instead of pi, you just press the pi button and multiply by 15, that's going to be your answer to, let's say, to two decimal places, it's going to be 47.12 centimeters. All right, the second part is about the area. Let's remember how we calculate the area. In this case, it's going to be A stays for the total area. It's it basically consists of the area of the semicircle, all right? So if you just shade all the parts, but you need here, you need to subtract area of semicircle CB. But here you need to add 
a semicircle area of AC. Basically, when you subtract and add, those two semicircle areas will be cancelled and you stay with just purely area of the big semicircle. So basically, it's area of the big semicircle in total. So that's why it's simply pi r squared and half of that because pi r squared is the total circular area or area of the circle so you have that so that's why you'll get pi radius 7.5 squared and over 2 let's recalculate pi times 7.5 squared and everything divided by 2. What I've got, I've got 88.36 centimeters and that's the solution. So I just highlight both results for perimeter and for the area. So better use that one. This is the area and this is a perimeter. So hope you don't in the same manner try to reconcile your answers and hope you like this sort of problem. This was the pick of the week, so make sure you can do this, you can solve. If not, just watch my explanation, it's gonna be like pretty short and all videos are supposed to be pretty short. So you waste about like four or five minutes per each and get proper results. It was Daniel Dallas. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and don't forget to smash the bell button. In this case, you will be notified about weekly updates and also about on a daily basis I create videos so you make sure you also not miss that. Peace out.